Hello, I'm John Idelson. And I'm V. Cantor. How do we maximize opportunities for personalized learning today? We live in an era of personalization. We make everything our own. Making content our own is at the heart of personalized learning. Personalized learning does not mean teachers personalizing content for the students. It means students taking the content and making it their own. It's not about us, it's about them. But those early pioneers certainly had the right idea. Traditional uses of video in teaching and learning are not personalized. It begins with the idea of an inertial reference frame. An hour-long lecture is hard to watch and does not engage the students. It doesn't make it their own. Showing a lengthy video isn't any more engaging. Projecting a documentary on Friday afternoon does not let students pause, rewind, or reflect. We don't need to reinvent the wheel, we just need to make it roll better. There's a wealth of educational content out there just waiting for students to personalize it. Students engage with the content as they make it their own. When students interact with video, they watch, interpret, reflect, and present content. They give us an answer that is not just an A, B, C, or D. They give us their own understanding in a very personal way. They make the message meaningful for themselves. Once upon a time, remixing video was difficult and expensive. Now, we have the tools in our pockets. And now I'm going to be talking about the settling of the West. Conquest of the West, synonymous with progress. Now, in 1890, the frontier officially disappeared. Uh-oh, Indians here, they're about to run off the screen. Conquest of the West, synonymous with progress. Those are stacked buffalo hides. We have progress. Conquest of the West, synonymous with progress. What happened in the West begins to look more and more like exploitation. Do it with video. Let the students own the content. Capture, edit, remix, share. Make it their own. Thank you.